which equation below has no solution. And then we have some equations. Let's solve them each out, that's the best way to do this, and determine which one would not have an equation. The way that we're going to do this is we're going to move it around so we get x alone on one side of the equation. So, I'm going to start by adding 3 to both sides, then I'll get 5x equals 12x plus 14. I could subtract 12x from both sides, and I'll get negative 7x equals 14, divide both sides by negative 7, which will leave x by itself, and I'll find out that x equals negative 2. So A here has an answer of negative 2 that has one solution, one solution in A. Let's try B. B says 6 times 2x minus 3 equals 9x plus 12 plus 3x. And we're going to start by simplifying this out. We're going to expand. 6 times 2x is 12x. 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. Then we have 9x plus 3x is 12x here, plus 12. And already I could see that I have an issue. Because it's saying that 12x minus 18 is equal to 12x plus 12. Well, that's not possible. And what you'll see is if I were to separate this out by subtracting 12x from both equations, I would end up with a statement that says negative 18, both these would cancel out, negative 18 equals 12. That's not true, therefore B has zero solutions. There are no possible solutions for B. And just for fun, let's go ahead and see what C would give us. Let me go ahead and continue erasing real quick here. C says 4x minus 3 equals 2 times 3x minus 1 minus 2x minus 1. So we're going to start by expanding. We know 4x minus 3 will remain. 2 times 3x is 6x. 2 times negative 1 is minus 2. And then we still have the end of the equation. We're going to combine like terms here. And we'll see 4x minus 3 equals 4x minus 3. Hey, that looks very familiar. So if we're going to solve this out, we'll subtract 4x from both sides, which will cancel out, and we'll have a statement that says negative 3 equals negative 3, which is always true, meaning that C has infinite possible solutions. So in this case, B is the one that has no solutions. A has one solution, and C has infinite solutions.